Hello there, Carol here with you again today for tip number three in my series for genealogist. Had a few technical difficulties this morning, so I'm trying again now. So what I'm going to do today is take you on a little journey on knowing where to look for those records that you are seeking for your ancestral research. <clears throat> Yesterday's live cast was setting up your own family tree. And I'm sure by now that you'll have plenty of gaps in your information and things to fill in for your family tree. You may just be starting and may just have a few people listed there, or you may, like many of us in genealogy world, have a huge family tree with thousands of people. Nevertheless, there's always gaps and things to find. So today's tip is all about knowing where to look. And of course, the first thing you need to know before you start looking is, what am I looking for? Is it a birth date? Is it a marriage date or place? Is it information about people who have emigrated from one country to another? So knowing what you're seeking is the first step along the way so that you know where to look. What I'd like to do with you today is take you on a little journey that I find useful, and you may too, in knowing where to look if you're just at the beginning stage of your genealogy. I'm going to share my screen with you. And the first thing I want to share is Cindy's list. Now, I like Cindy's list because it's full of places to go for seeking those records for many different aspects of your genealogy research. I'll keep it simple today. I'm just going to follow one little trail. I come here sometimes when I need to know where's a good place to look for what I'm seeking. So, for example, if I'm looking for Australian records, I notice that Cindy has on the front page here a list for Australia, which was updated in October last year, but fairly recent, and a link to the states and territories. So going to that link, for states and territories, I can then drill down to find the information I'm seeking. Perhaps I'm looking for a birth date for someone who has lived in Victoria. So clicking on Victoria will enable me to find another set of links. And right at the top is the one that I'm looking for, births, marriages and deaths. So clicking into that particular one will give me what I'm seeking. But while I'm here, I was having a look at, oh, there's some interesting things here about cemeteries and funeral homes, convicts, prisons, etc. So note to self, come back here and do a little more research later. But keeping focused for today, we'll go to the next page. And on this next page, we have a few samples for the Australian states and territories, births, marriages and deaths in Victoria. And here's the one I'm seeking. Now, many of you who may be watching may already know that's where you go. But for those who are just beginning, this is a really good way to find what you need. So following that link, we come to the births, deaths and marriages of Victoria. And you can then go into research and family history and drill down in there. So you may want to search for family history here and continue on your journey. We won't go into any details today on how to do the research because today's tip is all about knowing where to look. So one other thing that you might want to do is have some information to hand about what to do with the record once you've found it. So we need to know a little bit more. So where do I look for that? 
So coming back to the categories list from Cindy's list, I, I noticed the link to Ancestry.com, the basics, updated in September last year. And that reminded me that many people use Ancestry.com. So let's have a look at that to see what they do in order to help you with your research. So coming back one page at a time, we can then find details about Ancestry.com and in particular, search tips, which is what we're after today. So clicking on that link brings you back to this page, which will give you some choices to make. And as I came to this page, it reminded me about the Ancestry Academy, which is a really useful place to go to. And this title resonated for me, Seek and ye shall find, become an Ancestry search expert. So clicking on that link brought me back to this page which is full of video tutorials that you can view at your leisure. And under the heading of Seek and You Shall Find, there are 10. So clicking on that brought me back to a record, a video record from one of the experts in Ancestry.com. And this was a set of four really useful pieces of advice when you are searching to prove a fact. So for example, in my search for a birth record to prove when my ancestor was born, I need to think about these four things, which you can read on the screen here, but I'll just briefly summarize them. Identify the records that might have the answer to that question. So you need to know what kind of record it is, where you're likely to find the answer. Then determine if the records actually exist in some countries, uh, some of the records don't go back earlier than the 1800s. So you won't, won't find the answer in a birth certificate in, in this particular case, if they don't exist. Third point was start with a few basic records, look at the information you have, and then evaluate and look for more. Good advice. Where'd you going off on a tangent? And finally, this one really resonated for me. Searching works best if you identify a few resources or few sources, find and examine those, and then decide what to do next. So take it piece by piece, step by step, and then move to the point of knowing where to look and finding that vital piece of information. And my final tip for you today about knowing where to look is on magazines that are available online. And in particular, I like Family Tree. So when I went over to familytreemagazine.com, I noticed there are a number of different ways in which you can get help in diving into genealogy records. So in this page, I'm looking at the genealogist guide to birth records, and I can then read more. And this is another way for you to learn is to read from the screen. And then I noticed many others there. You know, if you're looking at the US census records, there's a guide for that. If you're looking at church records, there's a guide for that and directories and so on. So the Family Tree Magazine is a really good place to go and find out a little bit more about where to go for your records. So coming right back to Cindy's list to finish off today, go to cindyslist.com and have a look for yourself and follow that along. So this has been tip number three in knowing where to look. Your comments in the comments below this live cast would be valuable for me as I'm never sure how the volume is, for example, and whether or not you're able to see the screen clearly. So your feedback would be vital for me. I've also put into the comments some of the links that I've shared with you today. And I hope that these are of great use to you in your genealogy research. So I'll stop share now. And I'm now going to end the live cast. So if you've been watching along 
in Facebook today. Thank you so much for your attendance and I look forward to seeing you again in my next live casts. These will be daily throughout the month of January 2022. Bye for now.